Time to make Monday a great Monday. We've got a jam-packed day. Partner with a major company in Arizona that we're gonna be talking to in a couple minutes. And it kind of fell on my lap, but I always like to think everything happens for a reason. And this is something that's been brewing for years and years and years, which I'll kind of explain how we locked down this partnership. Ball's not meant for a boat. And now if you were sleeping in. No, I'm sitting in goddamn traffic. There's fing road construction all over the place. So we got this partnership because of my guy Steve. Different Steve than the last video. We got a lot of Steves in my phone book. Uh, but Steve Best, I met a long time ago, and he was a real estate investor when I met him. He's turned into kind of a real estate agent a little bit. Still does a lot of real estate investing, has a very impressive real estate portfolio. And way back in the day, he got me hooked up with his brother-in-law, whose name is Jesse, because Jesse wanted to buy some real estate. And when I started working with Jesse, I was like, oh, Jesse, you own Semper Fi Heating and Cooling. I was like, that's a pretty big AC company. His brother-in-law, Steve, who is stuck in traffic right now, sold his AC company years ago, and now he does real estate full-time. Steve hits me up and goes, hey, would it be beneficial if we went and spoke with Semper Fi Heating and Cooling to see if we can generate some business or give them some sort of incentive for working with us? So yeah, so Steve basically set this up and pretty much just said, Sean, figure something out. We're just gonna go talk. I don't really talk a whole lot. And yeah, so I printed out some flyers, made a little loan program for them. We're gonna see kind of how it does. But Steve is also the guy who installed our AC in our office uh, the past couple weeks. So you've seen him around. And then as if there's not enough Steves in our live, we got Steve this morning, Steve from Texas last week, and the boat mechanic that we're seeing today is also Steve. Steve will do it, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, so look at how big Semper Fi has grown. It's crazy, they have so many trucks, so many vans now. When I first talked to Jesse way back in the day, he had like, I don't know, maybe 10 trucks? Uh, maybe more than that, maybe like 15 trucks. Apparently they're at like 200 something employees now, so he's grown quite a bit. Yeah, Dude, they've grown a lot. Last time I was here, they had like maybe one row. Yeah. Right. Summer's not fucking over, all right? You got, you got a couple days, it's gonna be hot as shit. What is it's gonna be, 116 degrees out? 116 degrees, degrees. You guys have to take advantage of that, right? The time is not to get fat and lazy. It ain't over yet. My name is Steve Best. I was, like a lot of you, I was a service technician, did air conditioning, I started my own company, I ran it for like 18 years. Then I started investing in real estate, got a lot of rentals, I flipped a lot of houses, I own apartment buildings. Uh, so I'm Sean. I've not been a service technician. But yeah, I met Steve a really long time ago. I feel like it's been like four years now. Interest rates get a little bit better interest rate. Um, there's not a whole lot of cost coming. Feedback on what the market's doing, so let me help you guys. Thank you. So community! Uh, do what you guys do, you guys did Who was, who's on call this weekend? Hey, no sales, sales. If you're gonna live in it. I'm looking, I'm Brandon, by the way. Nice to meet you. So I moved down from Washington about a year ago. That was pretty fun. That's actually gonna be super beneficial for us. I had a ton of people come up to us after that. We didn't really talk for much, but more so with a lot of these things, just showing face, getting people you know, in the same room and coming from a trusted person, right? Everyone trusts their CEO of their company. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of people came up to us afterwards where I was asking us questions about how to get into real estate, how to buy, whether it's a primary, secondary, investment home, whatever it was. I mean, we probably had at least eight or nine people come up to us and that's really good because everyone in that room makes pretty good money um that's always the trade-off with real estate is when you're talking to people about real estate as shady as it sounds you don't want to waste too much of your time talking to someone about real estate when they might not even be anywhere close to the ballpark on being able to do what you're telling them to do but it was cool that everyone in that room makes well above six figures um and that many people were interested in kind of buying real estate so that was incredibly fruitful i'm excited to see kind of how that pans out over the next couple of months whereas getting in a room like that with a company that i don't even know what they do revenue wise they probably do somewhere north of 60 70 maybe even 80 million dollars a year i don't know it could be even a lot more than that 
Um, but getting into a room with a company like that and having the CEO of the company, you know, be in your corner to really vouch for you is huge and extremely, extremely hard. Like if I were to call a company right now that was that size and said, hey, I wanna come in, I wanna talk about how you know they should work with us to buy real estate, all of them would be like, why? I don't know you, I don't trust you, I don't even like you for cold calling me. So it's cool that we got into that room really without having to work that hard for it. Now I say that, but that relationship started years and years ago on how that happened. All right, we're taking a quick little pit stop today to be at the lake. Meet up with the second Steve of the day. He's boat mechanic Steve. We're going to um, have him look at a couple things on the boat that I've been wanting him to look at. Um, technically the boat's good right now, but there's just a couple of little finicky things. And I want him to see it at the lake versus in the shop. I don't know where he's at right now, but I think we'll just drop in, get some work done while we wait for him, and then I'll hop on. I'll wait on boat mechanic Steve. How I met other Steve, Steve Best, was pretty interesting. So four years ago, I met Steve through a transaction. He was an investor, just looking to get a loan like any other person. But I met him because of the type of relationship that I had with my past company. Now there's a difference between self-sourcing your own clients in real estate, you know, going out and finding the clients yourself and getting company fed leads. Leads that come into the company and you know they have to be worked a little bit more, they're more cold leads, things like we were talking about in some previous videos where I was generating the lead machine and the website, all that good stuff. Now when you get a lead from the company, you don't make that much money on it. You actually make very little on it compared to when you bring in a self-sourced client. Now back then, you know, four years ago, I was taking any type of client I could get because I knew that the more transactions you did, the more business you're gonna get in the future, right? It's like, a, it's like a tree branch. The more branches you have on your tree, the more business you're gonna get, aka more leads. So I was willing to work these really, really, really hard transactions back in the day for like no money because I knew, hey, these are clients that might end up buying something in the future. They might refer me to other clients. And that's really exactly what Steve did. So this particular company lead that I got was actually from a real estate company. I was designated to work leads from a specific real estate company and make absolutely dog crap on the deal, but I was happy to do them again because I knew that I'd get some really solid relationships out of them. And that's exactly how I met Steve. Steve was referred in as a client. I did a deal with Steve. I realized, holy crap, this guy's got a really baller real estate portfolio. This is gonna lead to potential future deals as he refinances finances house, buys more houses, whatever. And yeah, I didn't make nearly anything on those, but I was happy for it. And then now, fast forward a couple years, Steve actually has his real estate license now. He's super well connected with all of these AC companies because he sold his AC company back in the day. Yeah, and I'm super thankful that I was in mega grind mode back then, literally spending 20 to 40 hours on a single loan making maybe thousand bucks, maybe 800 bucks to do it. Whereas usually I'd spend that kind of time and make maybe $4,000 or $5,000. And then, you know what happened today? Steve hits me up and he goes, hey, my brother-in-law owns Semper Fi Heating and Cooling, super big company, let's go talk to all their employees. And then afterwards, Jesse, CEO of Semper Fi, said, hey, we'll get you guys back to some of the um, service technicians or even some of you know the office administrative staff. So that's, you know, 200, plus employees that you're gonna network with, whereas that would be extremely hard to lock down if I were to just cold outreach. Thank God for the 21st century and being able to do a mobile hotspot literally anywhere. Get some work done while we're out here waiting. And you know, gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta, gotta do what you gotta do to make those bucks. Another one. It's broken off. How many of the are there? Well, there's four of them. Basically, into the cooler. The water's 98 degrees. That was an absolute poop show. I go out to the lake with Steve, and I go, Steve, here's the problem we're having. Let's try to replicate it. Steve's like, okay, yeah, let's do this. We're cruising, we're enjoying, we're you know, talking. And then out of nowhere, I start smelling oil. Steve's really hammering down on the throttle, by the way. I just hear, I smell oil, and I'm like, that doesn't smell right. I look at the oil gauge, and I'm like, Steve, we don't have any oil. And he goes, oh yeah, we lost all the oil pressure. Puts it back in neutral. We go back to the engine, and there's just oil literally everywhere, which was not the problem we were trying to, to figure out. We literally found another problem while being out there, and yeah, it was the exact same thing that happened the first time my boat was down. There's two oil lines. First one was replaced by that Steve who was in the boat with us. And now the second one popped while he was out there. What are the odds of that? And now we have to replace that one. It's 
So we literally were out there for four hours, three hours, something like that, and got absolutely nothing done. In fact, went backwards in production. We didn't even solve the initial problem that we had. So I'm way behind on work. I haven't even looked at my email. I have like 40 missed calls. I need to start making some calls. And I'm gonna have to drop my boat off sometime this week to Steve to work on it, to then go lake test it after that to try to find the original problem. Hey Sean. Hey Jeff, sorry about that. I am pretty stoked about the meeting this morning that we had with Semper Fi. Um, I'm gonna take that energy even though I had a pretty horrible middle of the day. I go get caught up at home and then I'm gonna bring that energy that Jesse had at the beginning of his meeting into our weekly meeting that we have at 4 p.m. every Monday. So we'll see how that goes. What a long, long morning slash day. That's not how I was planning my day to go, but we just got to kind of roll with the punches. I'm super bummed about the boat, but I'm actually super stoked about meeting with Semper Fi before we went out to the lake. So I guess today had some good, some bad, and we'll get to wrap it up by getting our week set up straight with our meeting. I'm not going to be in the office for our meeting today, so I'm going to have to do it um, at home via Zoom. All right, we've got five minutes before our weekly meeting starts. So I need to find something super hype and epic so I can launch our meeting just like how Jesse did this morning with Semper Fi. Wow. Motivational speech to hype up sales team. Go, I can totally see this is how we're gonna do it. We gotta like pre-vet it a little bit, you know? Let's, let's, see, let's see what we're working with. Ah, this video sucks, Dan, come on, man. Let's try, let's try one from Andy Elliott, you know? Why is this in black and white? God, these all suck. Come on, guys. Let's pop a lock in. What's up, man? What up? How's your guys' Mondays going? Dude, yeah, I could be better. Could have a so room. Tired. Wow, sounds like it's been going great for both of you. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to try something new today. This is very unlike X2. I went to Semper Fi Heating and Cooling this morning. I shit you not, I walk into this meeting and the owner of Semper Fi literally has up this YouTube video on like sales motivation. And then once it ends, he literally gets like to the front and he was just like, Summer's not f***ing over. We're still selling units. If you're out there struggling, then that's a you problem. That's not a weather problem. It's going to be 115 today and just going crazy and everyone's like amen amen <laughs> like, so we're fine. <laughs> like it was it was crazy <laughs> and so yeah i I, uh, I found this amazing video we're all gonna watch it's gonna hype everyone up and uh i hope you guys are are ready for it we'll do it we'll do it at the end um, yeah, yeah good meeting yeah pretty crazy how like you never know who you're gonna meet and what kind of opportunities are gonna gonna open up it's more so just always saying yes and always always connecting with people on it so yeah, that was really cool to see. Um, but yeah, I started out with that today, so that was really good. Got a lot of people who were super interested. And then, um, yeah, so for that, started my week out strong with that meeting. And then uh, I actually scheduled a lunch and learn as well this morning with a uh, title company for YouTube. So I believe that's in four weeks. Otherwise, pretty solid Monday with that setup. So um, yeah, what you guys got? What you guys got rolling? Luke, you're up first. Dude, I need to find a home for blanket loans. Gotcha. Tyler? Um, what I'm going to do differently this week compared to last week will be I'll be reaching out to agents for just like your standard traditional loans as opposed to the chattels. All right, I like that. I built, I built my business on that for the most part. Um, I've always taken kind of harder deals. It's definitely a way to do it. It's hard because you're going to get a lot of crap, but you know, you make a couple work and then you have an agent for life. I mean, I, I do think also a lot, if you want to get some good relationships is you really got to get them in person, whether it's, Agreed. whether it's even talking about real estate or not, it's just like all about just getting them in person. Agreed. What's up, Ben? What up? What up? All right, Zach, what, what you got going on? Um, got some content stuff planned for tomorrow. Hope you guys are ready for the best yeah. thing ever. Get in the mode. I'm on my way to the gym, so this is going to help. I love Hell it. Hell yeah. Let me know if you can hear this. I am a millionaire, but it's hard to become one. Can you Every hear that? No. no. Oh, what? No. All right, I'm going to send you guys this. And get incredibly um, hyped up for that. Actually, it, it fits for the gym, Zach, so you're welcome. Do we have to have, like, a summary on your desk by the morning? Yeah, 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 summary. All right. <laughs> yeah, why don't you guys watch that 40-second video. Get your mind right for this week. All right, appreciate you, brother. All right, I'll catch you guys. Talk to you later. See you. Later, dude. Later guys. Later. Well that kind of failed. But they'll like the video because it's a super big parody and it has nothing to do with being motivated at all. So. I do five reps of ball squats. I don't actually count my reps. 
I only start cunning when my balls. Excited to get some great responses from that. If my guys aren't absolutely hyped up this week after that amazing video that failed in our meeting, I don't know what to do. You know, we're just all screwed in, in the mortgage world. I do need to get another sales kind of prospecting idea for us to all do. The cold call one was super fun. I don't know if we should do that again or if we should do something else. I guess we'll see.